what's next. Oh, fentanyl, fentanyl. Uh, well, there's a huge fentanyl crisis in this country, as you probably know, because it's it's in the news and everybody's talking about it constantly. Um, and um, the fentanyl is coming into the United States from Mexico, but uh, there's been a real shift over the last few years um, in, in terms of, uh, you know, how the fentanyl gets made and where it's coming from. Uh, there's recently uh, been a, um, a new study uh, coming out of the uh, Department of um, uh, out of the uh, DEA um, uh, Drug Enforcement Agency. And um, it's, if in the past what was happening was uh, fentanyl was smuggled into Mexico uh, from primarily China and then from Mexico smuggled into the United States, um, the, the Mexicans, uh, the Mexican cartels have got a lot smarter about it. When they were buying the fentanyl from, Mexico, from uh, the Chinese and smuggling it to the U.S., their profit margins were relatively low. But what they have figured out is that they can actually smuggle, not fentanyl into Mexico, but they can smuggle the, basically the chemicals, the precursor chemicals into fentanyl from uh, China at a very, very low cost. So they can take $800 worth of chemicals and they can then manufacture the fentanyl in Mexico, turning it into pills and powder. And $800 turns into $640,000. Talk about a return on investment. Um, uh, when it sells in the United States. So uh, the profit margins are huge. The incentives are huge. And it turns out that the, um, that the, the sons of El Chapo uh, the famous uh, drug uh, cartel king, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, criminal, uh, his sons have now built a network of uh, laboratories across uh, uh, Sino uh, Sinaloa, um, and um, they are basically smuggling in the precursor chemicals from China. China can then say, we have nothing to do with the fentanyl trade, it's just these chemicals. And they're turning these chemicals into fentanyl, and they are making a, a huge amount of money. Um, there is, uh, uh, you know, the, the, this cash um, that uh, the cartels get uh, then is used to bribe politicians, and it's used to bribe cops, and it's used to, to buy basically an army of hitman and of, uh, of military grade, military grade equipment and, and institutionalizes these uh, cartels in Mexico uh, as, a, as a real threat uh, to the Mexican government, to, to, to the, the, the civilians in Mexico and indeed to the, to the U.S. Um, one American dies from fentanyl overdose every eight minutes, every eight minutes. Of course, the solution to this, of course, is, is to legalize fentanyl. It's uh, to legalize all of these drugs, uh, to let a market emerge. Of course, if a market emerges, then uh, it won't, first of all, prices would plummet. Remember, $800, 640000 Prices would plummet. Fentanyl would be made in the United States. And uh, the competition would be over quality. And instead of selling a drug that kills one American every eight minutes and kills, it was it uh, overdose deaths in the United States, uh, were over 100,000 in, uh, in 2021, um, they would have to be able to provide a high without killing people. And um, that would save a lot of lives of the users. And of course, it would save a lot of lives uh, uh, who are the victims of the cartels. Uh, save a lot of lives of, of the war that uh, the, 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 the war drugs. It would also uh, prevent the corruption of uh, judges and prosecutors and cops and, and politicians and all, you know, not just in the United States, but in Mexico and all over the world. The, the only solution to the fentanyl crisis is not to go to war with Mexico, but it's to legalize fentanyl and legalize all uh, hard drugs, uh, and, and create a real market in them and drive prices down and, and get rid of, uh, get rid of all, uh, get rid of all this violence. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show. If you'd like to support the show, 
we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.